Metatarsal fractures. Metatarsal fractures can occur in the fifth metatarsal bone or in the first metatarsal bone. It also can occur in the second, third, and fourth metatarsal bones, and that will include stress fractures. Let's start with the first metatarsal bone. The first metatarsal bone fracture is different than that for the second and third and fourth because the first metatarsal carries a greater load and if malunion occurs, then this will create transfer lesions due to uneven weight distribution. You want to aim in perfect fixation of fracture first metatarsal bone. That means more surgery will be needed for this bone. More open reduction internal fixation is needed. Let's talk about fracture of the fifth metatarsal bone. Jones fracture occurs in a vascular watershed area of the fifth metatarsal, which is the proximal area. It may be difficult to heal without surgical help. Usually treated by screw fixation in athletes and in young active individuals. The percutaneous screw is usually 4.5 screw and that offers the shortest time to union and the lowest risk of developing non-union. It also helps in early return to activity. Sure a nerve injury is at risk when you perform the IM screw fixation of fracture of the fifth metatarsal base. Casting and non-weight bearing is an acceptable option if it is an acute fracture and the fracture is non-displaced. The risk of recurrent fracture after the fracture heals with a non-surgical treatment is about 30%. The fracture usually enters the fourth and fifth intermetatarsal articulation. And if that happens, then it is a Jones fracture. And it is called zone 2 fracture. zone 2 fracture, which is different than zone 1 fracture, which enters the tarso-metatarsal joint or the metatarso-cuboid joint. And you will treat that conservatively by initiating weight-bearing as tolerated with fracture shoes. Zone 1 is a pseudo-Jones. It heals well and it is less serious than fractures in zone 2 and 3. Zone 3 fracture is a proximal diaphyseal fracture distal to 4-5 articulation. Fractures of the shaft of the 5th metatarsal you will do weight bearing with a walking cast or a walking boot. With injuries to the midfoot area, you should have a high index of suspicion for an associated injury to the tarsometatarsal joint, the least frank. Try to get standing or stress x-rays to make sure you don't have a least frank injury. How about the second metatarsal bone? Stress fracture in ballet dancer occurs at the base of the second metatarsal. Marsh fractures occur in the second or the third metatarsals. Patient will complain of pain in the forefoot, swelling, no history of trauma, tenderness along the metatarsal shaft. She will do protected weight bearing in a walking boot or a walking cast. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.